I went to the women's strike demonstration uh, just two weeks ago and I confess uh, we all were kissing, touching, hugging each other, all my friends and comrades. Now it feels so long ago because within a few days everything changed fundamentally. In the media they tell us uh, stories about too many people, take it too easy, even celebrating corona parties and things like that. I think the situation is uh, very different from place to place. Um, in the very restricted area I come around these days is another meaning of bubble. People are showing a lot of respect and caution to each other. It's like only one person entering the bakery telling each other, oh, I have time, take the time you need, you're the first one. And there's more empathy and interest towards each other. So in a crazy way, isolation brings us uh, more together. There are a lot of initiatives growing up from the ground and a big amount of creativity and awareness. We learned a lot these days about globalization following the way of the coronavirus around the globe. Now we become aware how dependency and reliance on many levels is working global and in everyday life in our own district. The economic effects of the shutdown, they work like a line of domino. We are realizing that nearly everybody is affected sooner or later and people talk about these issues every time and everywhere. I recognize an increasing empathy for the living and working conditions. What about all the people without housing these days? What about the single parents? What about delivery people? They are not being paid when they become ill or sick. What about the little stores in our quarter? How to support our local dealers these days? Yesterday, I saw an old man with crutches who were not allowed to use a toilet in the supermarket. He needed so desperately. A friend of mine told me about an elder woman crying tears because the cheaper milk was sold out and she could not afford the more expensive one. I had a short but hard discussion with a neighbor yesterday about refugees. He called them parasites, getting everything for free, so there's nothing left for our own people paying taxes, all these bullshit, you know. I think we all could tell many of such stories. There is a small gap between solidarity and narrow-minded cruelty. So we have to work hard for a mindset of empathy and solidarity, including all people and all over the globe, opposing racism that might increase even more these days. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.